In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to use what I think is one of the best backup programs in PC, Restic. So, Restic is a cross-platform, open-source, command-line utility that you can use to back up to USB, network storage, or to the cloud, to services such as Amazon S3, Backblaze, Wasabi, Google Cloud Storage, and more. Restic supports things such as encryption, versioning, deduplication, compression, and filtering. And with the help of Windows Task Manager and Restic's sophisticated retention policy option, you can set up advanced automatic backups. All Restic backups are encrypted with passwords, or keys as they're called in Restic terminology, and backups can have multiple passwords. Restic supports versioning, or snapshots as they're called. Each time you back up, Restic will retain previous versions of the files as they're updated or removed in newer snapshots. You can then use Restic's retention policy options to keep or remove older snapshots. Restic supports deduplication. This means it will not back up the same data twice, even if you rename the file or change the source location. Compression is also supported. If you have a lot of small documents, Restic can crunch all those files down into very small backups. This is especially useful when backing up to the cloud. To give you an example of how well Restic handles compression, take a look at this. I've got a bunch of Linux and Windows virtual machines here that I back up to a backup called VMs. If I look at the stats of this backup, it's got an uncompressed size of 200 gigs. But inside the backup itself, it's actually 115 gigs. So with compression on, we're saving about 40% space. Restic is perhaps one of the fastest backup programs on Windows. I've tried millions of backup programs for Windows, and they all have this long, drawn-out process of scanning files before they even do the backup. Restic starts backing up files immediately. For cloud backups, the only bottleneck you're going to see is the one provided by your ISP. As I mentioned, Restic is a command-line-based backup program, but it's incredibly easy to learn and use. And this is coming from someone who absolutely hates using the command line for anything. And honestly, once you set up Restic to do backups automatically, you will rarely ever have to deal with the command line. Because of Restic's ease of use and speed, I've completely replaced all other backup solutions, including the stuff that comes on my NAS. To end this introduction video, I think it would be helpful to show you Restic in action. I've got some media that I want to back up from my user folder into this USB drive that has nothing on it. First, I'll create the backup. And I could do this by doing Restic minus R and then point to this location, which is going to be C. Now call this backup media in it. Now we have to specify a password or the encryption key. We will type it twice. And this will go ahead and create the media backup on my USB drive. It tells us that we need to make sure we remember the password because if you forget the password, you cannot access the data. Now I'm ready to back up some files. We're going to go ahead and back up my documents folder. It's got some files in it. So next I'll tell Restic to back up. And I'll tell it to back up on C users tray documents and hit enter. It asks for a password. Each time you want to access your backup, you have to specify the password. And here it goes. And it's done. I can see inside this backup by using the snapshots command. And I see I have a single snapshot. If I want to look inside, see the files, I can do ls on my latest snapshot. And it has all the files. I'm going to go ahead and now delete the user guides folder. So I can show you how easy it is to restore. The first thing I'll do is run ls again on my latest snapshot. So I can copy the path of the folder that I want to restore. Restic is case sensitive, so you want to make sure that the path is perfect. So copy that. Now say Restic minus R on E media. And I'm going to tell it to restore from my latest snapshot this path. And I'm going to restore this folder to my desktop so it's less confusing. Now point to C users tray desktop. And it's done. And I have those documents. If I wanted to restore back to the same location, I can simply modify my target and say, restore to documents. 
documents, user guides. And now I have my user guides folder back. Now that was just an example of restoring specific folders and files. You can actually restore whole snapshots. If I run snapshots again, you see this ID next to the snapshot. Every snapshot will have a unique ID that you can use to reference. I'll copy that. And this time I'll do rest minus R on E media and restore this snapshot ID and restore to C users Dre desktop into a folder called restored. We see here a couple of errors. This has to do with Windows symbolic links for folders like music, pictures, videos, documents. You don't have to worry about that. What we have on our desktop though is our restored snapshot. If I go in here, I have my documents with all of its folders and files, everything. So as you can see, Restic is pretty straightforward. And in fact, it only has a handful of commands. These are all the commands for Restic. But with just these handful of commands, it is incredibly powerful. So this is going to be an ongoing series that I'm going to be doing. And at its completion, I'll package it all up into one single video. But each section will also be a standalone video and put in the playlist. In the next section, I'll show you how to install Rustic on Windows.